Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be, I don't know, it's not necessarily sad. It's just, you know, one of those classic Alex, let's talk about a certain topic and just kind of ramble to the camera, have a good therapy session with my audience that seems to enjoy these videos. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe because I would love to have you as a subscriber and also follow me on Instagram because I try really hard on my Instagram and I just like growing my platforms on both sites. So this video is a little bit different and it was actually inspired by a post I saw on Instagram. I honestly don't really know where to start with this video, but I think I will just say if eighth grade Alex or ninth grade Alex or 10th grade Alex would see myself where I am now, it's definitely not where I thought I would be in my life. Um, I know that sounds like kind of sad, um, but also there's this like silver lining and happiness to it because like, I'm doing something that I've always wanted to do. It's this weird feeling and like I feel a little emotional about it. Maybe it's just because it's about that time of the month. But um, yeah, like if you asked like ninth or 10th grade Alex, like where would you be when you're at 24 years old in life? It would definitely be something like, oh, I'm probably gonna be in medical school, you know, already graduated, probably find the love of my life, you know, maybe in my first year of med school or graduate with school or you know this that or the other um i would be you know living in an apartment with him or you know on my own or something and not with my parents um making youtube videos probably not that <laughs> if we're if we're being honest here like no i don't think i would ever imagine this to be my life you know what i'm saying i thought i would probably have like a bachelor's degree um if not in biomedical sciences, probably in the medical field, maybe um, pre-pharmacy or I don't know, medical lab tech or something like that. And not something in, in video making, definitely not, definitely not motion graphics, um, considering I am not the most creative person or I'm a creative person, I'm just not an artsy person. Anyway, so I think that's a really good way to start this video. I did not imagine myself where I am right now, which is, looking back it's a little sad but like where i am right now is just like incredible like i didn't think i could do this and i didn't think that i would make a penny on my youtube channel i've been doing this for probably like what five six years now um so it's been a while and it's taken me like so long to get noticed by people and you know then we have you know people blowing up overnight it's just really difficult it's hard you know um but i've always been that person to like always set goals and like want to achieve them so like even though i didn't go to medical school or didn't finish my uh, finish a bachelor's degree like i proved to myself that i could do that like with hard work and determination because of the grades that i made when i was at that university and the grades that i went when i went to the college i transferred to and um, graduated with a digital media degree so i proved to myself that i could do that but YouTube, oh my gosh, YouTube is a challenge, man. It is so hard. Like, I am not gonna lie. Um, coming up with ideas, trying to figure out like, what does my audience want? And there's only so many adoption videos I can feel like I can do, to be honest. Um, there will be one coming in the near future, I would assume. But just looking at where I am now is just amazing. And I, if you asked me when I first started YouTube, if like I could do the things I've done, no, I would say like, oh man, I don't know. Yeah, so I guess I just wanna read this post to you guys because Life with Justine, and I met her a couple years ago, I think, um, made this post and I will post it on the side here and I'll leave it down below if you want to check out her stuff um, because she's the one that really inspired me to make this video. So she says, something I don't talk about publicly is my fear of failure. I feel like I was behind in life because everyone around me is having a kid, engaged, married, or just became a new house owner or just became new house owners. I envied it, but then I realized that I need to take a step back and focus on the path that God put me on. I'm not meant to be having kids and getting married now, and that's okay. I also have to realize that there are so many people my age who are in the same position. 
I am actually thankful that I didn't go down the path that I felt like I had to go down in order to be successful. Even though my life isn't the way I expected it to be, I'm happy and hopeful for my future or happy and hopeful of my future. Um, so I, I agree with this 100%. She put it in such clean words that that's exactly how I feel. And I wanted to make this video to say that there's so many people out there, including myself, that feel the exact same way. Yeah, I cannot wait to have kids. I can't wait to get married. Like, I can't wait to do all of that stuff. But I guess it's just not the path that I'm meant to be on right now. And that's fine. And I know everything happens for a reason because I always say, I was left on the side of a road in China, ended up coming to the United States of America with two gay moms. I mean, come on. Like, I know that there's a higher power. I know that there's a God somewhere because <laughs> of just like where I've landed. So, I mean, I know that I am on the right path and that I just need to just go where I need to go. Also, I made some notes because I didn't want this video to be a complete ramble. So yeah, I I still live with my parents. It's cool, it's chill, even though they love having the news on like 24 seven. It's a little challenging. I guess my reasoning for this would be the fact that I don't really want roommates. Yeah, I just wrote that down. I don't want roommates. Um, If I'm gonna be with a roommate or like live with someone, I want it to be my like significant other, like boyfriend, fiance, whatever. Uh, I don't want it to just be some random person. Also, I wanted to add most of my friends have a significant other that they're living with or whatever, or are married. I don't have a lot of friends that are like single, if that makes sense. So I'm not moving in with some rando. I'm sorry, not gonna happen. Um, I'd rather live with my parents because we are kind of friends now, now that I'm an adult and we just like enjoy each other's company, even though we drive each other insane sometimes. I also wanted to add, I don't want to rent anywhere either. I would rather like buy a place. If I was living with like my boyfriend or something, I wouldn't mind renting. But overall, if it's just me, I don't want to rent. Another thing I wrote down that there is no right or wrong way to live life and it is not a race because I always thought, and this is kind of touching back on what I just said, I always thought that there, there was like, this, you know, certain ages that you're supposed to do things, you know? And I just realized that that's not the case. Like if I wanted to change my career tomorrow, like I totally could and that would be fine. And I could still do YouTube. Like there's so many things you, I could go back to school if I wanted to, even though I'm like deathly afraid of school and I hate school so much. That's another video for another time. But honestly, I do not like school at all. Um, probably like some PTSD there, um, but I'm definitely probably not going to go back to like a traditional school if I ever were to further my education in some sort. And like the having kids thing, luckily not a lot of my friends are having kids right now, which is good because like, I don't know, it'd just be even more weird. Um, but I have thought of the IVF route if I have not found my person or whatever, because as you guys know, I definitely want to have a child biologically and I wanna be at a healthy stage in my life to do that. Like I don't want any like risks or complications. So I have like thought of that and I'm not against that whatsoever. Like I'm not against a lot of things just because I never had a normal life. I mean, I had a normal life, but like it was a little, it was, you know, that TikTok where they're like, had a bit of spice. That's totally our life. So there's definitely nothing wrong with that in my mind, if you disagree, that is fine. Um, there's a lot of people that disagree with me about the Dad Challenge podcast, but I think their comments are in the hell for review section. But I just wanted to kind of touch on this because I want you guys to know you're not alone. And with like Valentine's Day just passed and everything, it's, it's really difficult sometimes. But looking at my life now and just knowing I made as much money as someone with a full-time job did, doing what I absolutely love to do this past year is just incredible. Doing a part-time job at a TV station and doing this, that is like mind blowing. If someone asked me if I would ever like get to that, no, because I thought I would never get to even experience that. Whether I get to experience that next year or not, I just think that 
that's incredible that I have also enough money where if I wanted to put a down payment on a house like I could probably not the most um, intelligent financial decision to make which that's why I'm not going to do that but just knowing I had that opportunity to do that right now in my life is just incredible and doing something that I mean not a lot of adults my age can say that they can do exactly what they want to do and I'm so grateful for my parents being able to help me do this because I don't know like it's just in, it's just incredible and I'm very very thankful and blessed and it's because of you guys that I I get to do this and it's because of you watching the ads because you guys commenting on my videos and just like everything and I and I love that you love my parents um that's amazing so I guess I'm just like rambling now but I just wanted to make this video because you are not alone you are gonna take a great path in life no matter what it is as long as you're not hurting yourself or those around you you're doing okay keep your head up um there's always hope that you can, that is gonna come. There's always the future to look towards. And that's why I think I always look towards the future because it's just, I don't know, it, it keeps you moving, you know? But I guess that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.